Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you found us here on YouTube and have joined our tribe of survivors. And today I want to answer a question uh, that someone wrote in the comments, and that is how to get the narcissist to give you a divorce. Now, I wish I knew this while I was still in my marriage. <laughs> Uh, I wish I knew he was a narcissist. I wish I left him instead of him discarding me. And I wish I was more prepared for the discard. You know, and looking back at it, I would have, if I had known, I would have done things so differently. <laughs> so hindsight is always better than 2020. <laughs> and so. If I had known then what I know now, gosh, it would have been so different. And a lot of you out there are still in a relationship with a narcissist. And you've, a lot of you are trying to find out if that's in fact what they are, or you're trying to figure out how to leave them or how to resolve the relationship that you have. And some of you have children uh, with the narcissist so there's no such thing as just fleeing in the middle of the night uh, never seeing them again a lot of times things have to you know progress in our society uh, you still want to protect your children from the narcissist knowing the kind of damage that they can do especially if you guys heard the last video that I put out of a email that I had received from a girl who uh, his, whose mother was the narcissist and the kind of things that she went through in her childhood was horrific and so I know a lot of you out there want to protect your children from the narcissist so how do you get a divorce from the narcissist you're in the same position we all are in the same position uh, when the relationship ends whether they discard you you discard them they divorce you you divorce them all these positions have one common thread between all of them and that is the fact when the narcissist can no longer get the kind of fuel from you that they need is when they go to an outside source and when it's too draining on them to carry on the relationship with you is when they will be uh, they're going to look out for you know there's truly they're going to look out for themselves always and they're going to protect and because these are very selfish people they only care about themselves and their future their security their fulfillment for everything so if they are in a position where anything will drain them whether it be finances or drain them from their other relationships or drain them from uh, their grandiosity of being able to get gratification from society at large when and they can't get fuel from you uh, that's when they will leave they're just so selfish they actually don't care about your well-being only their own so how you get a divorce from them is you have to turn the tables on the narcissist first and foremost you have to cut off their fuel both negative and positive you know, positive fuel is when you're loving them and praising them and giving them attention and everything like that. And negative fuel is when you're angry at them, you yell at them, you fight with them, you, you still give them attention, but it's, it's even though it's negative attention, it's still fuel. So first and foremost, you have to cut all of that off from them. They're never going to give you a divorce or leave you if you continue to supply them with anything. I mean, and so some of you I know are in a, or trying to get a divorce, you're living separately, uh, and you're sharing the kids or whatever, and you, you want your divorce, you want to completely cut ties and you know, you want to move on with your life. Well, they're not going to give you the divorce if they're still able to extract fuel from you. And that's usually in the form of negative fuel. They're so selfish. They're going to probably have a new supply, getting positive fuel from the new supply going off, having fun, spending money, having the perfect life, and you're sitting there and you're watching them be happy with the new supply and meanwhile putting you through hell with your life and still not giving you what you want and, and still taking from you. And this is a position that a lot of us find ourselves in. When I look back at my relationship, 
I know now that I was actually cutting off his fuel supply. I was no longer feeling love every day the way I used to and I was trying to go off on my own with my career, with the things that I was doing, with the people I was hanging out with. I was, I felt really lonely and that's the one thing that they do. They isolate you and they make you feel lonely. But I was really trying to uh, find other things uh, to make myself happy and I was really trying to work on myself. Now, at the I didn't see it at the time, but I see it now, is that that was actually cutting off his fuel. The fact that I was working on myself and not just working on him. The fact that I was trying to put my attention towards different careers that didn't involve him, friends that didn't involve him, all that thing. I thought I was improving myself, but looking back at it, I was cutting off his fuel. And he discarded me and wanted to divorce me because he had no use for me anymore because I wasn't supplying him. And I was left there going, what happened? Why, why is my divorce over? I didn't know that that's where, because I didn't know he was a narcissist. I didn't know that this is how they function and what has been going on in my marriage the entire time. So I know now that if I were to go back and if I found out, if I had in, if I was in a different situation and I wanted to get a divorce because I knew he was a narcissist and was going to destroy me, If I knew that while I was still married to him, the the things that I've learned now, the tactics I would use would be to go gray rock on him, which means give him no emotion, good, bad, angry, sad, you know, anxious, you know, attentive, every emotion that you can think of has to be wiped completely. No, I did that a little bit as self-preservation and I didn't even know I was doing it at the time. But, and that's what was the catalyst for him wanting to leave me because my emotions were trying to go completely off of him because I was I felt something was wrong but I thought it was all within myself so if you go gray rock and not give any emotion no matter what it is the narcissist will start to you know they're they're not going to put effort into trying to get emotion out of you after enough time even if it's bad emotion because it'll be too draining on them to try to get negative fuel from you after a while so if you're trying to get a divorce and they don't want to give it to you and you guys are fighting and there's so much communication between the two of you bad communication it's fuel for them so you have to somehow figure out a way to cut all of that off either through a mediator and just know that they don't get not one drop from you so if after a while that will start to drain them and they will stop putting in effort because there's no return, there's no longer return on their investment into getting fuel from you when they're when you've cut off the supply completely so that's the first step uh, if you want to get a divorce or get out of these relationships and you're unable to because they are dragging you through the mud Uh, and slowing down or stopping the process or using your kids as uh, flying monkeys um, to to hang on to you just so they can continue to get fuel out of you so that that is the very first step now that also means and this is the hard part letting go of the agony and the concentration that you have having to see them with the new supply because that's their best tool that they have against you is to see you in pain because he's got a perfect relationship with the new supply so just remind yourself that the same thing is going to happen to that new supply that has happened to you so if they have kids with that new supply and they get an established relationship it's going to be just as bad if not worse than what you're going through right now So you have to let go of the, you know, hanging on and looking and and seeing them happy with someone else. And meanwhile, you're going through hell. So don't give, if they will post pictures of him being happy and doing all that kind of thing in order to get secondary supply, just them knowing. So you have to let them know that you're not looking at them at all. Block them on all platforms of social media. If, if anything comes up like you don't know what they're doing, you tell everybody. You get your own flying monkeys 
and you let them know that you have not looked at not one post, not one social media outlet, you've never had not one conversation, and as soon as someone tries to even have a conversation about them with you, you cut it off and say, I don't wanna hear it. So eventually it'll get back to them that you are in no way looking at them, their lives, anything. And they'll start to, well, why, why are they, they'll start to feel like, why are they even doing this? Why are they even trying to conduct this life and posting things online just to get fuel out of you if you're not even looking? And it'll start to drain on him or her. It'll start to drain on his relationship and his, the way he conducts himself and all the people in his life to get fuel. You have to, you have to start draining them. If you want a divorce from the narcissist, you have to turn the tables, start to drain them instead of them draining you. And that is, and it's all about fuel. Start to, start to every time they have communication with you or if they don't give you a divorce and have to continue to communicate with with you about other things and not through a mediator make it completely draining on him instead of you and they'll he'll they'll end up giving you the, the divorce uh, as self-preservation because they remember they can't generate their own fuel they have to get it from elsewhere and they're not going to keep you in their lives and in a marriage if it's draining on them so that's what needs to be done and you can do things like um so you don't go to whatever you do don't do, go to counselors or a couples therapy and all that because they will turn they will it just makes them a better narcissist and they're able to manipulate the therapist more than they can anyone and they'll just probably ended up end up you know learning tricks from the therapist on how to be a better narcissist so don't don't do that if you every time you need to have communication with them about the divorce you make it so draining on them and that's by involving a lot of people because remember they have to wear that mask and that mask can get really heavy if they always have to wear it amongst all kinds of people so if they know that every time that they have to have communication with you that there's going to be a lot of other people involved in order to protect you and in order you know so don't never let yourself just be alone with them so like have five five of your girlfriends uh, beside you every time he has to come and talk to you about something or do something with you uh, regarding the kids or the divorce, well, he's going he's gonna to want this divorce because he's not going to want to go into that draining situation where he's completely outnumbered and having to put on this huge persona. You know, it, there's no return on his re investment by keeping this marriage going, is there? So that's what... If I was in a different situation at the end of my marriage or in my relationship and knew he was a narcissist and if I just knew even a fraction of what I know now, my whole life would have been different. <laughs> but, um, you know, I do these talks uh, and put them up on YouTube because we're all in kind of different situations, but we all have this common thread that we're with a narcissist and we need to help each other escape and we need to help each other recover. So I'm glad that you found us here on YouTube and have joined our tribe because we are all survivors, present and post-narcissist.